right, so first of all, you've got to print out a template. I've linked it in the description below. It's super cheap. And once you download it, you can use it as much as you want. Uh. So next, we're going to lay this out. It's pretty straightforward. It's like you match A to B to C and the numbers as well. So once you've laid this out, we're going to close the gaps because as you can see on the top of each page, there's a gap here. So you just need to get the ruler draw the line where the gap is, fold that over, then we're going to use double-sided tape to stick that down. So as you can see, the gap is closed now. And then we're going to do that for the rest of the pages. Cause I don't want to catch no feelings, man, that's risky. The last time I did that, I was drowning in whiskey. My last girl had my spirit, my soul and my body and she knew that, but still threw me away like a frisbee. And now you know why I move ruthless like I'm never at home. 2019, I'm all up in my zone. Don't even say hi to me when you see me on road. I'm even different now. Cool. So next we're going to use tape to stick down the pages together. I use clear tape just so you can see through it. Um, you can use whatever tape you want to use. You should be counting your blessings. Even right now, it's a blessing to feel my essence. So the sizes start from like extra small and they go all the way to XL. So each line that goes up gets bigger. I originally chose a medium here, but I ended up making an XL because a medium was way too small. So I did have to make adjustments in the end. So then you just want to cut the size out that you need. Listen, hey, look. Next, you're going to need the material. I didn't find anyone who just sold the puff material by itself. Um, so I just had to buy the whole jacket. I've linked it in the description below. It's pretty cheap. So next, you just want to open it up, lay it flat like this. And then we're going to put the template over the material. And then we're just going to cut that out. I, I put it down the flipped way first. And then I'm going to flip it on the other side. So I used a laptop just to hold it down while I go around the edges. I use this thing called a, a scalpel, Stanley knife, just to mark out the outline. Cause I didn't want to use a pen cause I didn't want to stain the material basically. I bring the heat like jalapeno Aim with the key still fresher than the keto Flow like a brick That's such a brick They love my stilo See I ain't being on the road too tough but still Alright cool So you can't really see it but there's an outline there Next you're gonna need fabric scissors um, This is gonna give you a clean line when cutting out any materials Don't use ordinary scissors cause it just won't work So then we're just gonna cut around that line and also the foam sort of hangs out. It doesn't, it's, it's cool because it's all sewed down with the original jacket, but I just tape the edges just to make sure nothing's moving around as I go along. Mm, praise the Lord, at least you blessed to see manana. La façon dont je bouge, je suis plus silencieux que la lettre G dans la zone. Bia bla non bla bla, non on a bla bla, mani to gang de l'an, an asan, no a man at a dunya. I thank the Lord every day when I pray la hallelujah. I'm in your face like boya, dive in the deep end, swim with the sharks. I'm in your face like boya. Cool, and then this is what you should have. Um, so we're going to make the other side. I actually cut the sleeve open just to get more material out of the jacket because there wasn't enough space anywhere else. You're going to need this thing here. It's called a seam cutter um, linked in the description below. And this just makes it so much easier to get the thread out of whatever you're cutting, basically. So yeah, as you can see, once you undo the sleeve, you've pretty much got the same amount of material that you had on the back of the jacket. So now we're just going to place down what we cut out already. Um, we're going to flip it the other way. That way we've got two sides, if you know what I mean. So yeah, we're going to do exactly what we did for the last one. 
Stanley knife cut around it, scissors and tape down the edges as you go along. So this is both of them together um, This is pretty much what you should have So now you just want to compare them Make sure they're around the same size So next what you want to do is Flip them inside out Like this And then we're going to pin both of them down So we can start sewing everything together So when I'm sewing, originally I was doing it like quite far from the edge, but I realized you can do it as close as you can get it. Um, so you have as much space as possible to put your head in also don't sew the eyes and the neck part I did that by mistake So this is what you're gonna have when you're done. So next we're just gonna clean up the edges We're just gonna fold them up like this. We're gonna thread it um, We're gonna sew it down for the eyes. We're gonna put an extra piece of material one So I'll show you how to do that when we get there let go. How can you just let go? Let it be the best go Counting all the best sheep Changing all my bed sheets Counting on the best sleep Ah, Mommy, I just wet the sheets Ah, I've been chilling with my bed creeper He was teaching me about bread Cool, so now I'm just gonna flip it inside out just to see what it looks like so far. So this is what it looks like. It looks pretty clean already. Now we're just gonna clean up the edge on the eye part. For this, um, I basically cut out a piece of material of what was left of the jacket pinned that down in the end i actually took the foam off of it pinned it down folded it over and then just sewed it down basically Jumping to the vortex, lately I've been vortex Called it so I caught it, can't complain if it's important Hold your brain still, you're looking all distorted Looking sideways, highway to the moment Unknown thing like an ID caller Pull up with some ice cream, I'm full up Fuller than an all-round Buddha Fuller than an all-round Buddha I be eating good, yeah, I be eating good, yeah Mama feed me good, yeah, I been chilling with my is they be eating good? This is what we finally have in the end um, It's not the cleanest Obviously some of the stitches are a bit messy Because I had to make it larger um, Some of the edges are showing here But I'm going to show you how to clean those up um, Same on this side um, The stitching's a bit off But yeah So what I'm actually going to do here is cut it short Because the neck actually goes like past the shoulders So I'm just going to cut this shorter get a ruler, mark it out and then cut it off. So we're gonna have to do the same as what we did, fold up the ends, turn it inside out, pin it, sew it.
Cool, so now we're gonna clean up the edges on the material we pinned onto the eyes. So what you need to do is just put double-sided tape on the back, press it down, and then literally it holds so flat that you won't really see the white edge anymore. So this is how it's gonna look basically. All right, cool. So this is the final thing here. Obviously it's a bit messy. There's some parts exposed, like you can see the foam here, but that's because I had to make the size bigger. I made it too small. Same with the back here. There's some parts exposed. The stitchings, <laughs> the stitchings don't even neat. Um, but yeah, if you guys just cut it out in the correct size from the beginning, you won't have the issue of these messy parts. It'll be clean like this part here. But in the end, I just wanted to get it made just to show you guys like, how to make it and just to see how it looks in real life because i've seen this thing on instagram and i was just thinking how would this actually look if it was real so yeah now i'm going to show you what it looks like wearing it